Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, if you guys don't know what today's date is, today is November twenty second, twenty twenty. If we were alive, if you were alive in November twenty second, nineteen sixty three, you would know. Just an hour ago, President John F. Kennedy would have been pronounced dead due to being shot in Dallas, Texas during a motorcade. Today marks the 50 si 57th uh, anniversary of Kennedy's assassination. If, for those who don't know who Kennedy is, John F. Kennedy was 35th President of the United States. He, uh, he did many things during his presidency. He, prevent, he prevented nuclear war and World War III with the USSR, the Soviet Union, just by using his words. Not force, but his words. President Kennedy, I believe, is one of the best presidents we've ever had. He is one of the best. It's sad to know that he was assassinated because he could have done so many things. He most likely would have been re-elected in 1963. So let's start from the beginning. President Kennedy was, we'll start, he was, in World War II, he was in the Navy. And one day in the Navy, he was on, they were patrolling and he, his boat was hit with a torpedo by I think it was a Japanese or German U-boat which is like a submarine and it sunk and the survivors he led them to an island while carrying a wounded on his back basically strapped him to his back held the strap in his mouth and swam for like I think it was three maybe a little over three hours that he swam and when they got to an island, he swam to another island to go get food and swam back with the food to bring it to his men. Which would give him very bad back problems in the future or health problems in the future. Um, he was awarded the Purple Heart. And after World War II, his, his father kind of ran a campaign for him. And Kennedy ran for the state senate, and he won. The only reason Kennedy, but the only reason Kennedy won the state senate race was because his father had ties to the mob, which took dead people and had them vote, put their voting out there, which elected Kennedy. Now, then after a little after the state senate, after staying in the state senate for a little bit. Kennedy ran for president against uh, Vice President Richard Nixon, Vice President of Dwight Eisenhower, before Kennedy. And Kennedy won the, uh, the presidential election, not just because of the mob, but one reason was because Kennedy was a very good-looking guy, and his the presidential debates and stuff like that were... Uh, featured on television, which gave him a bonus because with him being good looking, they they saw who he was with television around. And of course, the mob, yes, they it uh they used dead people to vote, and that's how he won. Which I believe he would have won anyways, but it it, it was hard telling. But when when Kennedy was became president, he appointed um, his brother Robert F. Kennedy as Attorney General, which Robert F. Kennedy also had a case between Jimmy Hoffa, a big mobster, and Robert F. Kennedy hit the mob hard. He was going after him like crazy, and. Kennedy put his brother as attorney general, which hit the mob even harder because Kennedy basically took back his promises that he gave the mob and put 
his brother and the the attorney general, the one who went after Jimmy Hoffa and his mob, he he put him as attorney general, which which he just attacked the mob so much that the mob got tired of it, and that's one reason people believe that he was assassinated is by the mob, because appointing his brother as attorney general, and not just that, breaking the promises that he made with them and that his father made. There's many conspiracy theories on how they believe President Kennedy, or not how, but who killed President Kennedy. The Warren Commission, Chief Justice Warren, I can't remember his whole name, but uh, he led a commission trying to figure out how, who assassinated Kennedy. So if you don't know, President Kennedy was re-campaigning or campaigning for re-election in 1964. He, he was in a motorcade going through Dallas, Texas. He just hit uh, Elm Street in Daly Plaza, passed the school book depository, and three shots rang out. Two hit Kennedy, one in the neck and one in the head, blowing the right side of his head off, literally. He was taken to Parkland Hospital, still alive. They did what they could, and he was pronounced dead at one 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. Some people believe uh, Kennedy wanted to pull us out of the Vietnam War. The only time Kennedy put us into Vietnam was when he ordered an assassination on the South Vietnamese president, which was successful, and Johnson didn't like it. We b some people believe that Johnson put the CIA behind the assassination of Kennedy because they were taking him out of Vietnam, the Vietnam War, which we weren't supposed to be down there in the first place. And Johnson didn't want that. He wanted the money. When you go to war, you, the government gets money. And Johnson wanted money. Kennedy knew what he was doing, and he was stopped in his tracks because he was assassinated by the people that he trusted which the CIA didn't like Kennedy because they fired its uh its its leader because uh it's this he wasn't listening to what Kennedy was saying he was going against Kennedy's orders and when Kennedy fired him it kind of made a it kind of burned the bridge between him and the CIA there's there's many speculations on who killed Kennedy the mob Russians uh Johnson, the CIA, there's many spec there's many theories. I believe myself that the government killed Kennedy because of taking us out of the Vietnam War and Ken Kennedy knew what he was doing and they knew that and they didn't want that to happen. His brother Robert F Kennedy, which was also assassinated after basically winning uh, I think it was California is what he knew. Uh, pretty much Robert F. Kennedy ran for president a little after, years after his uh, brother was killed. He, uh, the, he, was, he was known more because, one, the Jimmy Hoffa case, being appointed attorney general, pretty much er, because of that. And after Martin Luther King Jr. was assassinated, Robert F. Kennedy made a speech in the middle of a town he got in the back of a truck put a microphone on the back of the truck and spoke to many angry black citizens but it was very peaceful because he sat there and said he announced that Martin Luther King was killed was assassinated and he just the words that he used, that's what him and his brother had in common, was the words they used were so inspirational and persuasive that people couldn't stop listening to them. So, Robert, Bobby ran for president. He was going to win, most likely. Everybody knew he was going to win. He walked into a kitchen, the back kitchen of the Ambassador Hotel and was shot. 
and taken to the hospital and was pronounced dead. Now, there's conspiracy theories about this. The killer Searhan Searhan, could, they believe he was either brainwashed or he was part of the mob. It's hard telling. The real files are within the White House. President Donald Trump has uh, released a couple files on him because him, him, he himself believes that President Kennedy was killed by our own government. Now, I want to make a second part of this video because I meant to make it yesterday or a couple days ago when Georgia was called. They called Georgia for Joe Biden, which uh, giving him, I think, he's, he's at 360 electoral votes, making him the 46th president of the United States, but it's not over yet. The lawsuits Trump all, Trump's campaign are making. I sat there and I I counted each county individually. I was looking on Snapchat and I found a TikTok that was talking about the counties and how many there were. I counted each individual county within the United States. There's a little over 3,000. I counted each county and I counted 2,600 counties red for President Donald Trump and 500 blue for Joe Biden. And somehow, Joe Biden has, is pronounced the winner by the Associated Press of this election. I just can't see how... Kennedy would be very dis, disappointed in today's Democratic Party. The Democratic Party back then did not believe in what the Democrats believe in now. Kennedy did not believe in gun control. Kennedy did not believe in the killing of innocent, innocent babies that cannot speak for their defense. He, he, he hated abortions. He believed everybody was created the same and, and should live, not killed. Now, to those out there who support Joe Biden, I do not. If I could, I would register as a Republican right now because I believe in the Republican Party. And those who say Joe Biden is the least racist president that we're ever going to have, or one of the least racist, and the pro-gay president, I don't mean to burst your bubble, but in 1990-something in the Senate... Joe Biden sat there and looked at the lead, uh, the Senate leader and said, a majority of these black citizens are going to rise. He looked at her and said, we have predators, not super predators, but we have predators in our streets. Called the black community predators and said we needed to take care of them. And he, in an interview, this is when he was vice president of the United States. He was being interviewed and said, Me and President Obama do not support gay marriage or anything within the gay community. And Biden supporters sit there and say that he's the most pro-gay president, the most anti-racial or against racist president. He is one of the most presidents, uh, racist and uh, anti-gay presidents you're ever going to have. Trump sat there at Trump Tower being interviewed before a party he had, and they asked him his opinion on gay marriage. And this his exact words, it is not my thing, but I support it. I don't have a problem with it. President Trump is not racist either. He's done so much for the black community. You, those who voted for Joe Biden, you have just elected the president that supports the killing of innocent civilians, the man that leads the Democratic Party that supports these, these riots and these looting and riots within our streets, within our cities that are killing people. These are not acts of peaceful protest. These are acts of domestic terror 
the spilling of innocent blood, and acts against God. And you support a man that supports that. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, have, a, have a good day. Um, uh, the FDA just authorized emergency authorization for the, the Pfizer vaccine, um, which, it, which is they can use it when it's ready, as soon as it's ready. The task force had a press briefing a couple days ago. I watched it. Mike Pence said they, they, uh, it is 95% effective. Anthony, Dr. Anthony Fauci said that it is a good cure. It can work for this. It will work. But ladies and gentlemen, stay safe. Stay healthy. Um, this pandemic is going to be over soon. We have a vaccine that is 95% uh, it 95% work. Or, I'm sorry. But we've got a vaccine that can stop this. It's not. It's going to be over soon. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Have a good day.